how to book three to five meetings a day on LinkedIn. Let's dive straight into it. This is going to be live training part two. I created a video um, before. If you haven't checked out, check it out. Super valuable. But this one's going to probably be even more detailed. I don't know how long this video is going to be for. So if you don't have um, very good attention spam, then this video is probably not for you. And just give you some proof. This is my current calendar right now. Um, these are all the appointments I'm booking on LinkedIn. We're currently doing anything from three to five a day. Um, yeah, so anything from 60 plus a month, just let your LinkedIn, no ads. I only do outbound and I only create content. I create content on day every day and I do outbound. So this is how you can do the same. So let's dive straight into it. Um, so what I would do when I log in on LinkedIn, I would first check my messages and see if anyone has replied to my messages from the day before and I'll go ahead and reply. Um, and I'm going to be fully transparent. I'm not going to edit anything out. I'm going to literally show if you, you know, people interested, people not interested, etc. So I go into sales nav two. I would click on red. Currently having a conversation with um, this potential prospect. She says, "Yeah, I do," but about leadership development equal. And then I'd be like, "Okay, okay, perfect." Um, so, are you in a position to take? on more clients and as i'm creating this video guys i want you to actually have like another screen or like pause it and do the exact same thing i'm doing because i'm telling you right now if you do this you're going to book appointments literally please please just copy what i'm doing and you're going to book appointments i know this is a free i know a lot of people don't see the value of me creating well people in general creating free content but i'll tell you right now people would pay i i, I charge a lot of money for this but i'm going to give it away for free because i just want to help some people out so let's go back to here. Okay, not interested, that's fine. Not interested too, not interested. Hi Josh, appreciate your outreach. We are over set here. We can have a chat next week, have a great weekend. Okay, perfect. So let me actually share with you my message, the exact process, and this is, this is an appointment. So I said, hey, Camino, I wanted to reach out as I'm currently taking on three business coaches, consultants this month on a pay results basis. So short, sharp to the point, direct messaging, it's niche specific, so I only work with business coaches, which would get its attention. On a paying results basis, it's a unique way to um, propose an offer because I actually do work on a paying results basis. And then and a soft call to action. Mind if I send some more info, not even information, just you want it to be super casual. So mind if I send some more info, info over, best Josh. And then the subject line was just literally reaching out. It's literally that simple. He said, hi, Joshua, thanks for reaching out. Please send your proposal regards um, and he's a, he seems like a good fit because if he wasn't a business and culture consultant, he wouldn't have replied. And then just to make sure he qualified, because I actually clicked his profile. He said he's a senior consultant, but I don't know if he was actually doing business, business consulting specifically. So just to make sure he's a good fit, um, I basically asked him, do you offer business coaching? He said, yes, I do. And I said, okay, perfect. And I sent him my pitch message, which basically is, I'm glad to share some more info with you. So we help coaches, consultants, find leads, close deals and retain clients, generating 40 plus qualified bookings in 120 days on a pay results basis. We do this by creating content that generates warms in my leads. I'm reaching out to ideal prospects, all completely done for you. So this is how we do it. Um, this is the offer and then this is the call to action. I'll happy to walk you through our systems and case studies on a quick call. If that works, let me know and I'll send some more information and send some available times. Like literally guys, copy something similar to this if you're a coach, consultant, agency owner and you book appointments. Come literally share it with you how we do it. He said, sounds great. We can have a chat next week. Have a great weekend. And then I'll be like, okay, perfect. I always say perfect. I like saying perfect. I would say, okay, perfect. I'll drop my calendar. Um, so what I actually do, let, let me actually get it. What I actually do. So I have a common questions on my on a spreadsheet so if anyone's interested in speaking these are all the common questions and i suggest you guys have the same thing all the common questions people ask just have it answer it and so you don't need to be keep on you know um writing the same thing over and over again when you can just put it here once and just copy and paste it and so he's over to more information and this is the message when 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 people are open to more information then what i would do i'll go back into here Drop. So first I said, I'll drop my calendar link below. I'll probably say, okay, sounds good. And then and another little hack, just so people don't think it's automated and, and things, try and do like little spelling mistakes. So for instance, 
um, I can put like that just so people don't think it's um, like a bot or it's an automation or the AI. And that is actually a super, super um, good hack that people don't even even share. So I'm sharing that with you today. So I've done that. I would then send it to him. And then in terms of tracking, this is the tracking sheet we use. Um, let me know, add me on LinkedIn and message me saying tracking sheet if you want this and I'll be more than happy to send it over to you. The only thing you need to do is just add me on LinkedIn and then just um, just um, send me a message saying tracking sheet and I'll send this to you, this tracking sheet to you. Let's break down the tracking sheet. So in terms of the tracking sheet, we basically, um, anyone that we reach out to, we put it here. So my VA does this, but I was doing this when I didn't have any money because if I had to start from zero guys, I would definitely get really good at tracking. I don't even think just tracking in business, just tracking in life in general. If you want to lose weight, if you want to hit a certain goal, if you want to get to a certain destination, you know, you need to track. I mean, you're going to, you're, you're going abroad, you're going away. You need to track like what you're doing, what time you need to get there and things like that. And like pre-planned. So tracking is super important. You want to track people you're reaching out to. Um, what happened here? You want to track who's engaged positively. If they've not engaged positively, you want to highlight that in red. That's what I personally do. You want to you want to track, so for instance, name Canon. It's basically, I've sent this guy my calendar link, so I would go ahead and put his name in. So I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it on this recording. So I'll do, I'll copy and paste his name. So I'll just click the control V and then I'll get his profile link. Um, I'll just copy and paste, copy link address. And then the date. So the date is fifth Saturday. See, I'm doing this video on a Saturday, guys. Instead of going out and doing and doing silly stuff, grinding on a Saturday. So zero five ten twenty four, and then track yes. So I know now. And then one C, two C, three C, all the way to seven C. It just basically means follow up. So there's about seven. I need to follow up with him every two days um, if the, if he hasn't booked. So that's how you track people. That's how you never, you never forget leads that are interested because a lot of people actually don't book calls because they don't follow up with people. And I know a lot of people say um, things about, I don't want to mess with people too much and stuff. It's annoying. Like, okay, well, you, you're not going to book appointments. You're not going to book an additional 10 appointments a month if you just want to follow up with people once or twice. If you don't, if you want to book more, if you want to add an extra 10 appointments a month, then you follow up with someone seven times. Um, this is what I've seen work. This is what people who have personally mentored me always tell me the money's in the follow-ups, the money's in the follow-ups. So that's what I do and I get results from it. Majority of my clients I'm working right with right now is because I followed up with them. It could be a follow-up with another sales call. It could be following up with um, seeing them open to the original call. So, etc. Brilliant. So what I would do now, I would keep this on, I'll keep this unread just so I can call back in and see um, if he's replied and if he hasn't. So I know to message him again on Monday, see if he's booked to call him. Not interested. Um, appreciate our reach. We are all set over here. Um, okay, that's fine. I'll just say like, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Um, hey, Josh, hope as well. Just want to be upfront. I've, I've partnered with an organization that assisted me with regard as well with our election further. Your offers appreciated. See, that's a nice keep grinding. This sounds like a really nice guy. Um, yeah, so also what I've been doing too, I have been testing different messages. This is another message. It's a little bit long, but um, it's. I think it's going to convert really well. Let me just read it for, for namesake. So, hey, William, I saw you are doing business coaching and thought I would reach out. Just wondering if you're, if you're open to hearing some new strategies to get on more discovery calls. Um, to get on more discovery calls with CEOs and founders of mid-sized companies doing around 500 to 1 million in rev. And I say this because majority of my business coaches, when I speak to them, that's what they want to do. They want to jump on calls, discovery calls, sales calls with CEOs, founders, owners doing anything from 500, even up to 5 million, to be honest, 500 to 1 million. Um, I could probably actually change that to 5 million in rev. I have something for you, but I won't share if you're not interested. So that is um, basically, this is the sort of personalization. I so saw your business coach that I reach out. And then this is the offer. 
and then this is the call to action, but there's no pressure. Um, this will do really well. A message like that would almost do really well. It's, it's done relatively well. If he wasn't working with another organization, I'll be sure that he would be open to to um, basically to, to wanting to potentially jump on a call with me. So I would then send him a message be like, hey, William, no worries at all. I would say, you know, I hope it goes well. Like, I want to see people win. And I understand not everyone's going to work with me. So I would say something like, hey, William, thanks for reaching back out. Um, hope everything's going well with the organization that you've partnered with. Let me know if, if you're open to different strategies in the future. I'd be more than happy to chat. If not, let's stay connected and have an amazing weekend. And that's what I would say. So that's that. Um, let's go on. I know how it works. Can you show me two clients so I can see their lead generation content? Um, so someone like this, um, can you show me two clients so I can see their lead generation? What I would do, when I anytime I get questions like this, it's always a little bit, and I don't know this, I don't know this lady, to be honest with you, but it's always like a red flag a little bit when they're asking questions like this. I have a video, so what I would do, I would say I have a video sharing our process and some recent case studies. Would you like to see them? I would say something like that, but it's already giving me red fed red flag um red flag vibe sorry um so yeah that's that let's go on to the next so this Louise said yes i am did she just reply now yeah she replied okay she said perfect so you are you in a position to take more clients um then i'd be like okay that's awesome okay so sometimes you just need to have conversations with people i'd say okay that's awesome how many would you be able to take on? And what are you currently doing to get in front, to get in front of the right buyers? And just have it, sometimes I won't even go for the call right now. Just have a conversation. You always want to ask an open-ended question too when you're having these conversations. And just really get to understand what she's doing, um, how many clients she wants to take on. Because if she says she only wants like a f like two or three clients, well, it's pretty easy to get someone two or three clients if they have a good offer, if they have a good case study. So, and then I would say that to them. I'd be like, okay, well, perfect. This, I mean, getting two two free clients, it, it's pretty simple. LinkedIn, if you know what you're doing, um, would you be open to a conversation on Monday just to share with you some of the process I use for my clients and see if it might be a good fit. And then that's that. Um, and then we'll see what she says. So once I've done all of this, I would then go back here. Let's just check who's replied to it. No one's replied to a message. I'll try and not get distracted. I know a lot of people get distracted checking their LinkedIn, checking notifications and, and all that stuff, checking who wants to follow you and things like that. Just try and not get distracted with that. And then what I would do now, I would essentially... Now we'll start prospecting. So go to business coaches. So go to business coaches. I'll click see all people. This is exactly how I'll do it. Let me just keep moving my face over. Um, so if you're just starting from scratch, if you already have people in your network, like I said, I'm trying to explain it if I would start from scratch. If I already had people in my network, I would instantly message people my first degree connections just because I can message I mean, you could message a thousand people today if you wanted to. Just split it up, do 200 messages every couple of hours. And it's just how bad you want it, to be honest with you. It's going to be painful, but I mean, that's why not a lot of people are successful because they can't deal with the pain. So just get messaging, get messaging people. You can message all these people for free um, with a sort of, you know, with a message. So that's essentially what I would do. If I didn't have any, if I ran out of leads in my first degree, I would go second degree. And then I would also go third degree once it loads up. I would also go third degree. And then once it loads up, apologies for the slight delays, I would go United States. You go United States.
go to all filters. I will go to CEO or founder or owner. Then once that's done, should 52,000. You can try and narrow it down, but um, if, yeah, just, just should get prospecting. So what I'll do, I'd copy link address. I would, this is going to be long. It's not, it's not going to be, that's why no one can do, that's why no one's booking five, three to five calls because they're not tracking as well as, um, as, as well as you, you should be able to because you need to track. So her name is Jen. What's her surname? K I L G O Kilgo 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 date zero five ten um twenty four and then I would send her a message. So the message I'll be sending go back to my inbox. Let's just check the message. And just to show you, share with you this message, um, this is an inbound lead. So make sure you're posting content. He said, hi, Josh, it's great connecting with you. How have you been? I was watching your video on lead generation for coaches. I'm interested to learn more and also the cost of the investment. Um, so this was an inbound lead. And I believe I generate this inbound lead because um, the amount of times, I mean, I create content every day. So my content can always get better. But the fact that I've just, you just need to put yourself out there and you'll learn on the job, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I've been creating content quite frequently for a while. And then I'm going to explain to you why the money is in the follow-ups because he's gone ahead and reached out to me and I've had to send him, look how many follow-ups I've had to send in. One, two, three, four. And then he sent me a message. Sure. Do you have time to talk now? And if someone says, do they have time to talk now? If you have time, you make sure you get on that call because guess what? They're warm and they're good to go. And I said, yes, I do. I send you over a link now. Um, and then I had to send them a few more follow-ups and et cetera. So I'll let you know on that, how that, that deal goes ahead. He's really interested. I'm going to help him sort a payment plan out um, in terms of potentially working with me. So we'll, we'll see how that one goes. So um, let me get you the message. I've been personally sending, um, let me just write it up, actually not off by heart. So let's go back. Business coach. Oh, we have to go all the way back. God's sake, man. United States. If you're still watching this video, I respect you because people would have probably clicked off by now. And if you carry on watching to the end, I'm actually going to offer a few, I'm going to offer a lot of things at the end. Um, something very valuable. So stay tuned. Oh no. Perfect. Okay. So there she was, Jen. I would add a note here. So there's different ways you can do it, guys. Um, you can just connect with people once they accept send voice notes, voice notes work really, really well. If I started from zero again, I would dedicate 30 minutes a day to send like 20, 20 voice notes, just because if you send someone a voice note, they are going to, I don't know what's happening here, um, but it's fine. I would definitely send voice notes, like 100%. Um, let's just go back, second, third degree, all filters, United States. And we're going to go CEO. We want to put that in capital CEO or founder or owner. All right, there she is again. Is it going to work this time or is it just going to look, just going to do something crazy? Let's give it a minute. All right, I think my LinkedIn's moving a bit faulty for some weird reason, but essentially what I do, I would connect, add a note, and I would say, hey, Jen, I would literally use the same message I've been using on my sales nav to get people to basically reply to me. So if I go back to my sales nav, 
it should share with me the message. Um, the message just basically goes, hey, just wanted to reach out, um, looking to work with business coaches on a payment resource basis. Would you, I, I would even add from your profile, it looks like you, you could be a potential good fit in terms of who we help. Would you be open to more information? I would send that message. So that's that. Um, and then what I would do anytime I, like I, I would track everything once from the spreadsheet, I would create a list of common questions too. This is really like a high leverage thing, even if it takes you like 30 minutes, an hour, because once you've done it once, you don't need to do it again. And anytime someone has, because for me personally, people ask me how long to take, what's the price? I would like to know more about service, what the terms of qualified lead? Like these are all common questions. So instead of me having to think about the answer every time, I can just create a Google doc and have all these answers in here and then just go ahead and message depending on the answer. So depending on the question that they have asked me. Um, and yeah, and I'll track, I'll try and do about hundred a day. hundred a day should get you one or two booked calls. Um, yeah, and that's how the, all the outbound prospecting works. And then I'll create content. I'll create content. I'll create videos like this, like I'm doing now. Um, I would create, you just need to see what works for you. Like I'm still personally trying to figure out what, what works for me, what really gets my audience like going. Like what, I mean, look at my impressions is down the last seven days. Um, yeah, like I talk about random. So I talk about mainly about booking meetings and stuff, but you know, sometimes I just talk about like things about life and, and things like that. So it's just about being yourself. I believe um, just seeing the more, the more, the more you are, being yourself, the more you would attract the right people. Um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it for the video guys. So if you stayed until the end, um, I have something to, to offer you, add me on LinkedIn and I'd be more than happy to share with you my spreadsheets for free and any other questions you have. I'm not selling anything here. I just want to help people out. There's nothing to be sold. I do have some, a few coaching clients, but if you're really interested, you'll find a way to message me and you'll message me. If not, no worries. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.